Welcome back to another Tech Depth Repair video. In today's edition, we'll be working on the iPhone 14 Pro Max back glass repair. So this video will demonstrate all the necessary steps to properly replace the back panel of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So for this, we're gonna be using a steel brush. Actually, those are very handy for like cleanup job. And I would definitely recommend to use the glue remover for the glass cover uh, on the back. This actually works better than isopropyl alcohol in contrast. For polishing, I would use Goof Off. It's uh, very good to like get rid of the debris in combination with the steel wire. This is a perfect combo to make sure like the back panel is free of debris. Exacto knife number 18. And I would always have like two extra uh, separate blades just in case like it gets dull, you want to replace it and make sure like the back is free of all the debris and cover, glass debris. And obviously for this type of repair, it's highly recommended that you need to have some sort of machine such as a laser machine that makes the cutting on the back panel targeted without touching the lens or the MagSafe. And finally, we're gonna be using a heat machine. Um, the machine that we'll be using, it will be an ESD lead free machine. I don't recommend to go over temperature higher than 150 to 170 degrees because otherwise you would damage like the either the flash or the back camera and lastly we need to have this type of essential tool which is a steel uh, pen glass uh. moving on the first step is to actually use the glass breaker to create entry points so for this one you want to make sure like the tension is not really to the max you want to relieve it a little bit because the reason why we want to do this is that you're going to avoid making puncture or like hard pressure onto the motherboard so you want to find the perfect spot to like hit it without causing too much damage on the actual metal back panel so also for the camera you want to put a lot of entry points because this is the toughest part but we're going to save it for the very end of the video Now, once you created those entry points, you're gonna start by taking the glass remover using a dropper. Make sure you get a good amount. So, like the instruction is like while you're doing the back glass panel, you wanna like make sure you apply it every, I would say, 15 to 20 seconds. You know, so like it will help tremendously lifting the back panel. So the first step is to like make sure you start from a point where you have easy access. And by the way, guys, if you saw any tools or parts in this video, check out the links below. If you're also interested in mailing repair or advanced data recovery service, we offer all the service at techdeb.com. So for this video, we actually just used a rear housing without any components on the inside. So you guys can see exactly like the points you have to make sure you avoid. So like there is this corner, this corner, but like if you have a really good laser machine, it will always tell you the blank spots. So to make sure you don't like put the glass breaker on those spots. So one key thing to note in this section right here is that even though there's not really a lot of glue in the lens camera, it's actually because the glass is sitting under the mid frame of the bezel of the lens. So the best way to approach it is to like try to pull instead of breaking. So you want to make sure you find the perfect angle where you can pull it instead of breaking it.
always try to adjust from a position where it's gonna make the repair easier, even if you have to flip it. So for this section, you wanna make sure you use a plastic spudger to hold the flash together, then the, it should lift. You can always use a tweezer to get rid of the last bits of the glass holding onto the lens bezel. So patience is key when it comes to this type of repair. But roughly, if you're doing the steps correctly, it shouldn't take more than one hour to get it done. Yeah, so this one we're gonna have to break it in half because it's stuck. There goes the last piece. So now comes down to the polishing aspect. So we're gonna use a little bit of goof off. And the steel wire brush. So blade got dull again. So the last step obviously would be to apply the MagSafe magnets. Um, because there is no components uh, for educational purposes, uh, it won't stick, it will fall, but like you would need to apply the MagSafe. And some of the back glass, they do come with like actually the adhesive pre-installed, but if you do not have it, I highly recommend you just use the B7000. 3M B7000 is pretty much the same thing to me. But if it does come with the adhesive, obviously it would make the repair process much easier. So the key part you want to like put in case if you only have B7000 is like in the corners right here. You do not need to put like in between the lenses, but uh, oops, it just fell by itself. Do not put excess of B7000 just in case like something happens. You like if it cracks by itself like it's always good to like give good customer service so like in case if they come back and a crack show by itself you want to replace it but if you polish it the way i just did it should just sit right on without giving you any issues and you can always add clamps to make sure it stays on and finally inspect to make sure that the back glass sits perfectly back on the frame You can apply the clamps now. So it's always good to apply just at the tip on the top left corner to make sure like those weak points stay um, locked onto the frame. 
like by the tip. I want to add a lot of extra pressure for this one because we're just holding on to it. Let it sit for a cool 20 minutes and this is a phone ready to go. And thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And with the help of the community, we'll make sure to assist you. Again, if you saw any parts or tools you need in this video, check us out at techdev.com or click in the link below for mailing repairs or advanced data recovery. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.